Hello everyone in this video tutorial. We are going to learn Disconnect Constraint. Disconnect Constraint is used for disconnecting the lines, the segments, or points, that connect it. I will disconnect the line from the circles. You could see the tiny circle and a dot in the center of circle and the end of line. When I click on the point and drag to move, both circle and line are being followed. They are indicated the line and circle are connected. To make them separate, click the tiny circle and click disconnect constraint. Now the disconnect constraint is applied. The tiny circle no dot in it. It is indicate they are disconnected. Click the circle center point in the line end point. Drag to move. The line and circle are separated. To make the circle and the line connected, click the center point of the circle and drag to place at the line end point. Suddenly the tiny circle update to has a dot in it. It is indicated the circle and line are connected. For the rectangle, the four lines are connected to form a rectangle. When I click at the end point of the lines and drag to move, the lines are sticky and connected. To make them disconnect or separate, click at the end point where the two lines connected. Click Disconnect Constraint. Now the lines are disconnected. You could reconnect the lines by clicking and drag to place on another line end point. Click and drag now. The lines are connected. 